Hello friends, I am James, one of the senior faculties from IBS Kayangulam, a premier institute for bank coaching and other SSC examinations. In this video, I would like to share some of the important concepts of interest calculation meant for JAB candidates. Actually, interest calculation we come across daily in our banking career or in our daily life also. But the important concept is interest calculation we can divide into two. One is the simple interest, another is compound interest. In, this, in the case of simple interest, the simple interest, the rate of interest and the amount remains the same. So every year the interest is the same. Whereas in the case of compound interest, interest is added to the principal and that interest also earns interest. Let me uh, put some example. Suppose there is an amount of 10,000 invested for a rate of 10% for a year of one year. So the interest payable on that amount is 1000 rupees. At the end of first year, the investor or the depositor gets rupees 1000 as interest. For the second year also, he will get the same interest 1000 every year. Suppose he put it for five year, first year interest, second year interest, third year interest and fourth year interest. Every year, the interest remains at amount 1000 rupees. Now come to compound interest. Suppose the same amount 10,000 at the rate of 10% is put at compound interest. Then first year interest is 1000 rupees because 10% of 10,000 rupees. And second year, this 1000 is added to the principal and the depositor gets interest for 11,000 rupees. So the, uh, that means for the second year, the principal becomes 11,000 and the interest is 10% of 11,000 that is coming to 1100. It goes on like that. In the third year also, the interest is added to the principal and he gets interest on that interest. So this is the basic difference between simple interest and compound interest. Now coming to the important formula. The simple interest formula as we learned in your schooling, it is uh, I is equal to P N R, P into N into R, where P is the principal amount, N the number of years and R the rate of interest. And here the rate of interest means it is always represented in percentage. So if it is 10% means it is 10 by 100. So if the rate of interest is 8% means it is 8 by 100. So that is understood. So principal into number of years into rate of interest by 100. That gives you the simple interest amount. So I is equal to PNR is the formula for simple interest. Coming to compound interest, since every year the interest is added to the principal, there is a change in the formula. There, the compound interest, we, we, you can call the compound interest uh, is, that is CI, compound interest is equal to P into 1 plus R, the whole raised to N minus 1, where P, R and N remains the same, principal amount, number of years and rate of interest. Now coming to compound interest, again there is a difference because the compounding rest is very important. What is the meaning of compounding rest? Compounding rest means it is the periodicity when the interest is added to the principal. For, exa for example, in the case of the 10,000 rupees and 10%, uh, uh, periodicity is annually means every year interest is added to the principal. The periodicity can be half yearly, it can be quarterly, it can be even monthly or daily. So what is the meaning of compounding rest half yearly? Compounding rest half yearly means every six months interest is added to the principal and he earns interest on that interest. If it is the compounding rest is quarterly, <coughs> that means interest is added to the principal every quarter. If it is monthly, interest is added to the principal every month and that interest earns interest. All our bank's loan schemes retail uh, segment schemes other than say gold loan and other uh, private sector loan this interest is payable at quarterly at monthly rest whereas in the case of deposit it is payable at quarterly rest all our deposit schemes interest is payable at quarterly rest and loan uh, for example education loan or our housing loan or vehicle loan the interest is at compounding rest is monthly. Every month interest is added to the principal. Uh, now this is the basic difference between simple interest and compound interest. The rule of 72. Uh, rule of 72 is a simple rule which gives you the approximate number of years or the rate of interest 
so that the amount invested becomes double. So rule of 72 gives you an approximate amount, rate of interest or approximate time for an amount to become double. For example, why we say that the rule of 72 because the factors of 72 are 2 and 36 or 3 and 24 or 4 and 18 and 6 and 12 or 8 and 9 because 8 and 9 is 72. So 8 into 9 is 72 indicates if the number of years is 8 and the rate of interest is 9 then an amount becomes double after 9 years. So if a person is investing at my yearly compounding rest an amount of 1 lakh rupees and he is getting yearly compounding 8% this 1 lakh becomes double in 9 years. Suppose he is getting a rate of say 24% uh, then this amount becomes double in 3 years because 24 into 3 is 72. So what is the formula? Normally in the JIB exam a question normally they used to put they will give you what is the time required to double an amount if the rate of interest payable is say 10% and it is yearly compounding. How do you get? You have to find out 72 divided by the rate of interest. So 72 divided by rate of interest means 72 by 10 gives you 7.2 years. Similarly, the, the, the question can be in another way. If an amount becomes double in say uh, 12 years, what is the rate of interest? You have to divide 12 with 72. So 72 divided by 12 gives you 6. So the rate of interest is 6 if an amount becomes double in 12 years. So this is, the, this is another important concept in interest calculation. We call it rule of 72. One point to remember, two things are there. Number one, here the compounding rest is annual. And number two, the answer is approximate, not exact. So if you want the rate of interest so that an amount becomes double, you divide 72 with number of years. If you want number of years, you divide 72 with rate of interest. Thank you for watching this video. I'll come out with a useful video subsequently. Thank you. If you like our content, do like, share and subscribe.